Hey everybody, welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host Khalil here for another toy of the day. Um, you can go to casterscorner.com for a full gallery of this guy, along with this. Um, <clears throat> uh, you can follow us, we are at Casters Corner. Uh, check out the Cornercast podcast, uh, new episodes up on Apple Podcasts. Um, what else? Subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the channel. All those things really help us. Um, the more of you that subscribe, the more cool things we get to do, I get to do. Um, and then I get to share them with you. And I think that that's what this last year has been about, about sharing the experience and kind of, um, it's normal. This is fun. It really is. Um, so we talked about barbecue uh, a few videos ago, and I think it was one of the better ordering experiences that we've had with Target. Um, arrived on time. Breaker was supposed to arrive earlier. And so unfortunately, <laughs> He was, he was easier to get in store than he was to get online. I actually um, found it and found him in store, and then waited about three weeks and canceled my pre-order because it still hadn't shipped. Um, but there was no shortage of these guys to be found. So from that perspective, this was great. Um, on shelf, easy to find. Walked in, no problem. Um, once the release date was there, so that was good. So, uh, so this is a, a multi-pack uh, vehicle pack um, that you see here. So we get breaker, we get the Ram cycle, um, and we get the Gatling gun on the side. I think one of the more impressive things about this is how breaker actually looks on the cycle. Um, I think the movement of the front end and the figure itself um, looks pretty natural. Um, posing him on the bike, sitting him on the bike are really good. There are foot pegs um, down here to kind of get his feet in the right position. Um, once you do get him in the right position, you can kind of move the torso and then the neck has enough articulation so it can come out so he's riding it. Um, and it doesn't look like he's like riding it with his head down, which is nice. Um, he's got the helmet, which kind of matches the whole look just looks really good, but I kind of want to pull apart the <clears throat> bike a little bit, um, in comparison to the previous cycle we got, which was the Cobra cycle. I get it. They were in a different kind of mindset <clears throat> when they put this one out, big, thick tires, um, kind of made it look like futuristic, really kind of raked it out so it kind of just looks very flat this is more on par with like the 80s look for gi joe um from the uh mg 1027 logo on the side you've got the two extra logos up there you've got the u.s flag there you've got the little <clears throat> mechanics wrench back there i think all everything on here and everything is already on there for you you don't have to put any stickers on this and I think that is an amazing piece to this. Um, it does have the kickstand, um, so it can you know stand by itself. Uh, it does not balance on its own um, unless you kind of you know move the bike in a certain position. Um, so all of that, all the gears in here, we've got different colors, so it's not kind of just like one flat color. The uh, pipes here clip in, and um, they do clip out. A little bit so for people that are customizing them they clip in and they clip out um i just the the rubber tires all the detailing on here all the different um pieces that feel different so you've got the different con um oh i'm losing my words you get all the different um uh i don't have any words today apparently clearly um, textures. That's what I was looking for. Different textures throughout the bike so that you can really kind of tell the difference. Um, the silver headlight there, if you shine light on it, it kind of reflects it back. So there's all these little things, all these little details that kind of run into this bike that really kind of set it apart. Would I have liked more deco, you know, hits, um, uh, paint apps on, on these parts? Yeah, I think we all would. Um, but for 40 bucks and Target through a sale the week later. So I think they dropped down to 17 or 20 at one point. So like for 20 bucks to get a 
bike and a rider. And then you get the detachable sidecar that kind of clips right in with the Gatling gun. And it, it, if, if you want to do a diorama where the bike falls over and it breaks, this pops open. Gatling gun is removable. And it's the same one you got with Roadblock. So it is able to be held. It's got the grip here. It's got the grip here. It does spin and turn. Um, so all those things that were pointed out by the Joe team um, when they revealed this over the summer, um, this just really is one of the cooler things that they've done. And again, taking it, all the deco, all the little stickers on there, on the sides and on top, um, it, it's those things that kind of really set this apart um, from that first year. They kind of really hit their stride with these things. Now, Breaker, I've got some thoughts on. Um, I think he's a really good kind of base body for them to use. They definitely using parts there. The vest is not removable. I haven't found any seams in here. So it's definitely put on before the figure was assembled or during the assembly process, um, taking off the helmet. Um, it's a really good kind of just general look for him. Um, I've seen a lot of people take this head because it resembles Jake Gyllenhaal a little bit um, and put this on the Mysterio body from um, Far From Home, which was a really good, good choice. Um, the helmet has some um, like different color paint on there to kind of make it look like the visor is kind of reflecting. I think it, it's proportional and looks really good on him as a figure. The only thing missing, of course, is the the hubba bubba bubblicious big bubble. Um, I've some, seen some people clip it off of Jinx or Boom Boom um, and glue it onto his face, which looked really good too. Um, I don't have an extra one to be able to do that. Uh, but figure solid. He looks good. Um, it's great to have them as part of, part of the G.I. Joe line. Having a little fleet of these guys, I love the vehicles. It's great. Vehicles are a character in unto themselves in G.I. Joe. So having a figure with that. So what are my thoughts? So here's the thing. Um, we get a $20 figure, right? And we get a $20 bike. And the sidecar, I would say, is kind of like the bonus, right? What's missing from him um, is there's no backpack, right? He has no gear to carry. Um, he's got no holsters for a weapon, so there's no gear on his body itself. Um, he also doesn't come with any weapons. 100% his weapon is the ram cycle here with the Gatling gun. Um, so I get it, right? He's not unarmed as a figure. Um, but if you pull this away and just have him out there in the field, sure, he can borrow weapons from any of the other characters. He can borrow backpacks. But I think one of the things that has really set this last year Joe's apart um, and even previous to this, I think it's been a consistent part that, that Lenny and team have been talking about um, on the G.I. Joe team. They did a great interview with Adventures in Collecting, so you should go check those out. There's actually two. There's one with Lenny, and then there's one with the team after uh, Hasbro PulseCon. <clears throat> um, is giving Joe's appropriate gear and the ability to carry all the gear that they have. Um, so you don't have a bunch of extra parts just laying around while the figure's out there. They can carry everything. We saw it with barbecue. We saw it with roadblock. Um, and we're <clears throat> seeing it continue. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, we see it continue throughout the line. <clears throat> so not give him even a pistol and a holster really seems a little out of place for the line. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, but... Again, we get the sidecar, we get the Gatling gun, we get the bike. These together, great. If this was a single carded figure, I'm sure he'd be loaded with a lot of gear. Um, and communications gear, which would have been so cool for him. Um, but I get it, right? Like, I, I get it. So my thought is, if they do an accessory pack, let's get some accessories for Breaker because he is a little unarmed if he's not, it doesn't have his bike. And he doesn't seem like the stat the guy with enough stature to pick up a Gatling gun. He's not the rock. He's not roadblock. I don't see him just picking this up and running with it. Um, so I'd like to see some accessories for him. Other than that, I think this is... I, I don't have a firm attachment to Breaker as a character. Um, but this might be one of my figures of the year as a combination. Um, because it really stands out from the head sculpt to the helmet. 
um, to the bike, to the Gatling gun, to, to all the detailing on the bike, everything top to bottom. And then the experience of being able to purchase it fairly easily. You put all that together and he really does stand out as one of the best Joes of the year, if not one of the best figures of the year. Um, so you can check out a full gallery of these up on casterscorner.com. You can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. Check out the CornerCast podcast. Hit the subscribe button. Everything's down below, so you can hit all the links down below. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. As we say every night, Jaxie, we love you and we miss you and we wish you were here. Um, and for those of you coming back, uh, we have an all-new toy of the day here on casterscorner.com for you tomorrow night. So join us. Uh, so have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.